And I don't think there's anything wrong also with when you're trying to figure out how he talks to you. I don't think there's anything wrong with just telling him, hey, I'm trying to figure out how you talk to me. Can you Give can me you something. help me figure this so out, can, you know, uh, so that way I can connect it. to you more. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Hey everyone, welcome back to Saints Unscripted. Today we're going to be talking about um, something, it's like a fairly basic question, but also one that can be a little bit complicated sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we complicate it a little bit. I think we do, <laughs> yeah. And so the general I, I question here that we're going to explore is how can we build a, a better relationship or even just a relationship with God or, or with our heavenly parents um, generally? So... Um, Obviously, this will be a subjective episode uh, with our opinions and whatnot, and, yeah. and and that's kind of necessarily the case because there are a lot of different kinds of relationships. Like, yeah. like your relationship might be different than mine, and, and mm -hmm. yeah, depending on how close you are already with God, right? Like, different things might work better for you at this stage in your relationship than other things, mm -hmm. right? And uh, so if you guys have anything that uh, that we miss, that we don't mention, that you think is important, feel free to share it down in the comments because this is completely subjective. Yeah. <laughs> Unscripted. It's just yeah. yeah. What? Whoa. What? So what do you guys think? Thoughts? Well, David, why don't you tell us what you think since uh, mm. since you are so willing to turn it on us? Why well, don't you go? perhaps I will, Taylor. Perhaps I will as I buy myself time to put my thoughts together and not stall it at all. No, I think I have uh, a couple pieces of advice. Um, and obviously nobody has, you know, a perfect relationship with God. Obviously, Everybody wants to improve their relationship yeah. with God. But in my experience, I think that I think, like you said, we overcomplicate it sometimes, and we tend to like think that it's this. Um, we we tend to forget that a lot of the same principles that apply to forming a relationship with you know regular people you see every day, we tend to think that that's somehow different than forming a relationship with God. I feel like um, so obviously, if you want to form a better relationship with God, spend time with Him. You know, yeah, talk to Him, yeah. Practice. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Like, you got to get to know someone by talking yeah, to them. Yeah, seriously. And, uh, <laughs> it, it's, it applies to God as well. Yeah. And then I think the other principle um, that has been important for me is learning to understand how God talks back. Hmm. That is so important. Absolutely. So just like understanding like what revelation is, how it comes, how it can come, all the different forms of it. Yeah. Um, the difference between inspiration and revelation. And once you have a good understanding of that, because sometimes we totally just misunderstand what revelation is, or, or maybe yeah. our expectations of revelation are, are different than maybe what is generally the reality. Mm -hmm. um, so I think as you better understand those principles, uh, your relationship with God can, can grow much more easily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that goes back to uh, your first point, which is, you have to spend time mm -hmm. with God in order to figure out how God talks to you. Really, you just have to spend time in prayer. You have to spend time on your knees, really opening up to mm -hmm. him and opening yourself up to him. I think it's it's sometimes more difficult to be vulnerable than we realize. Uh, because how many people in the church, especially, um, just like we fall, we have these phrases that we say when we're praying that we kind of fall into that right. make it comfortable because we don't want to, I don't know, maybe we don't want to be uncomfortable when we're praying. So we just kind of fall into these comfort phrases mm -hmm. like, thank you for this day. Please bless that we'll have a good night's sleep. We'll travel home safely. Like right. we say these things over and over again. And uh, I don't think it really quite can, uh, that's not going to connect you with God as much mm -hmm. as really expressing what you're feeling. Yeah. Being really vulnerable. Talking about what you want to be. Yeah. Be vulnerable with God. Yeah, totally. And I think that, and like you were saying earlier, it's really nothing different than like our everyday um, relationships with people, you mm -hmm. know, like you can, it's, it's as easy as just talking with him and just telling him what's troubling you. Tell him how, what, your, day how your day went. Exactly. I mean, he's your heavenly father. Yeah. He wants <laughs> to know. And I don't think there's anything wrong also with when you're trying to figure out how he talks to you. I don't think there's anything wrong with just telling him, hey, I'm trying to figure out how you talk to me. Can you, Give can me you help me figure this out? Victor, 
Oh, fuck. Oh. I need your help. You and, know, uh, so that way I can up, connect uh, to you more. I don't think there's anything wrong with that because it's it can be hard to do that on your own, you know? Yeah. yeah. And then that helps you connect with him. And the scriptures say constantly, like, to ask. Yeah. Like, God is always telling us to ask. Mm -hmm. And, like, he wants you to to implore him for, for things, even if it's just like, hey, is there anything that you want to tell me? Mm -hmm. And then just kind of wait and keep your eyes open, keep your feelings and your heart open. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. I think that we also, um, there's, there's a place for the scriptures, right? In Definitely. that relationship. Totally. Um, and the scriptures are a great way to maybe look back through history and, and kind of read about who God is, right? Oh, and kind of see some of the... The relationships little, that he had with Yeah, people. like looking at, at their relationships can help you understand God a little bit more and help you build your relationship with him. What do you want with me? I have seen the oppression of my people in Egypt and have heard their cry. Totally. And it helps you understand a little bit maybe how God works and maybe how he doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. it can kind of help you manage your expectations mm -hmm. for, you know, what this relationship is going to be. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not to say that the scriptures are the only way to right. understand yeah. God because they're not, but they're a great source. Yeah, they yeah. can definitely help. I think it's also important to remember that you do not have to be a member of the LDS church. You yeah. don't have to be really a member of any sort. You don't have to belong to any sort of church just because you are still God's child and he still wants to hear from you regardless. Yeah. And so any, absolutely anybody can speak to him. Right. Anybody can pray I, to him. I will say though, that, uh, of all of the organizations, honestly, I think one of God's main reasons for restoring his church was to teach us the most efficient means of connecting with him. I think that there are definitely like, there's a spectrum of uh, effectiveness in terms of practices to connect and build a relationship with God. Just like in real life. Yeah, mm -hmm. just like in real life. Yeah. And it's almost like this is purely a subjective you know, opinion because I've been in the church and I found it to be incredibly effective at building my relationship with God. I think that one of the reasons he established the church is so that we could get like, by the way, these things are surefire ways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like living the gospel will help you connect the most with God that I've experienced anyway. I mean, it might be different for other people, but um, as far as I'm concerned, I feel like the church, like you, you don't have to be a member of the church to connect with God, but I right. do feel like being a member of the church certainly helps. Yeah. yeah. And I, I mean, think like that having those principles and those, those teachings helps. Right. Sure. And I think that even exploring other faiths, um, because cause we yeah. the, like we do have kind of a, a, a there's kind of a Latter-day Saint culture, right? Mm -hmm. and, and that might be geography specific, like maybe like Utah Latter-day Saint culture is different than, you know, India Latter-day Saint culture, yeah. right? But uh, exploring other faith cultures, I think, can expose you to some interesting new ways of thinking about yeah. your oh, sure. relationship with God as well. And there's some value there. Definitely. But building off of what you said, um, it's also important to remember that, like, there's no um, worthiness. Oh, fact. Yeah. I mean, I guess worthiness, I don't want to put it that way, but, like, God doesn't think, like, oh, you made, you committed this sin. Mm -hmm. Don't talk to Don't me. talk. Yeah. Like, he's not going to You're not you allowed the, to do that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, obviously, you want to be, you want to invite the Holy Ghost into mm -hmm. your life. Yeah. You want that to be a constant presence. Yeah. But at the same time, like if you're trying to reach out to God, he's not going to give you the silent treatment. Oh, right. Yeah. Like he's not going to be like emotionally abusive yeah. towards you. <laughs> that doesn't mean that he's going to just respond immediately. Yeah. Right. And all your dreams are going to come true. If you vote for me, all of your wildest dreams will come true. And I do think that there are times when even though we are trying to reach out to God, like emotionally, we're not even like we may think that we are, but we're not quite receptive. Like we're not in a right state of mind or a right, you know, state of heart, so to speak, to yeah. receive that, to mm -hmm. hear him. Yeah. And so he may not like you may not hear his responses. That doesn't mean that he wouldn't be responding if you were in a right mindset, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. He's going to do what's best for you. And if yeah, a little bit of silence 
is yeah. best for you, so you can work things out on your own, then then that's that's that. Mm -hmm. But that's all part of learning to trust him. And yeah. building that yeah. relationship is how you learn to... Yeah, that's so true. It's all part of the, the game, the, the relationship building process. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we want to hear your opinions. Please let us know how you have built a relationship with your Heavenly Father or your Heavenly Parents. Let us, let us know some of your tips and tricks so that we can try them out. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And have a great day. <laughs>